Good afternoon, everybody. This is Heidi Olson, and today we're going to talk all things CLIA certification or everything you want to know about certification but we're afraid to ask. Justin Wimmer is with me, and he's going to be my slide mover, and he's going to help us talk about some of the things about certification. So, Justin, if you can move to the next slide. All right. For any of you who have taken a CLIA course or a live seminar with us in recent years, you've seen this slide. And basically, all this is telling you is that you can use this information for your personal use, but you cannot use it commercially. You can't put it on your website, et cetera, et cetera. Now, given the subject matter that we're going to talk about, you probably wouldn't want to put any of this stuff on there anyway. But just so you know, you are not able to use any of this offering for commercial use. Next. Now, today we have quite a few of you online, which we're very excited about. And so we're going to ask that you keep your questions together until the very end of the presentation. And then we are going to answer as many questions as we can. I'm hopeful, though, that with the information I'm going to give you today, that some of your questions will be answered in the um, information that I'll be sharing. Key points are in orange. Obviously, there's no quiz at the end of this, yay, yay, yay. But it just gives you the key points to keep track of. Next. All right, so let's look at our webinar objectives for today. Next. So basically, what we're going to do today is we're going to identify CLIA's certification programs. We're going to determine which program is the best for you. We're going to help you understand what the benefits are for getting your certif certification with CLIA. And then we're going to talk about resources that are available to achieve your certification. Next. So Justin and I are part of the team that are working with professional development. And we have other team members that are part of our membership team. We all get involved with taking video and phone career counseling calls. And I'm sure you've spoken to myself or Justin or some of the other team members. And what we have found, especially with people that are new to CLIA or new to the industry, they don't really understand what CLIA is all about. So we're going to start with the big picture and explain what CLIA is all about. And then we'll move in to the certification so you'll understand how everything falls into place. Next. So CLIA Cruise Lines International Association is a trade association in the travel industry that specifically deals with cruise. So we have the emphasis on the cruise industry and all that goes into it. We are also one of a few associations within the travel industry that provides identification that acknowledges you as a travel agent. And that credential is called Embark ID. And if you didn't know what Embark stands for, it means Enrolled Member Benefit Recognition Credential. Now, on the slide that we're looking at now, I bet you didn't know that we have this many members. So we have 53. Now, this is global, so we're talking worldwide because we have other CLIA um, installations around the world. But for our purposes, this is worldwide. So we have 53 cruise lines, which represents 95% of the global cruise capacity in our industry. We have over 350 executive partners, associations, ports, industry uh, companies that are partners with us. We have 15,000 travel agencies. 7,573 are part of our sector in North America. And 68,000 travel agents or travel professionals worldwide. And the majority of them, 48,522, are in North America. Next slide, please. 
So when you think about CLIA, Cruise Line International Association, we're supported by annual membership dues. So we have 53 cruise lines throughout the world that are members. They each have to pay annual dues each year, just like you do. Obviously, it's on a different scale and it's on a different um, setting, but basically we, we get money from our cruise line members. Now, PAMs and TAMs, those are acronyms for premier agency member, premier agency members, which are large agencies, typically host agencies or other business models that have 500 or more personnel within that agency. And then we have travel agency members, which would be everyone that is has fewer than the large number of the um, employees and contractors, whatever, for the, for the PAMPs. Now, those are the two travel agency um, designations. Now, when it comes to travel professionals, yourselves, the travel agents, we have individual agent membership. So basically, your agency that you belong to has to be a member of CLIA before you can become an agent member with CLIA, with your agency. Now, I'm going to stop here for a minute. I'm going to explain something because there's been a lot of confusion out in the marketplace. So what I'm going to explain to you is this. When you enroll as an individual agent with CLIA and pay your annual dues, and we'll open up the books in November for 2023, but when you enroll and pay your agent membership fee, that means that you are an individual agent member with CLIA. You are not a certified travel agent with CLIA at the membership level. You do not achieve certification or that title until you enroll, complete the requirements and get granted a certification level. So I just wanna make sure upfront, membership is completely separate from certification. Because a lot of people say that they're a certified travel agent with CLIA, but they haven't enrolled or completed any certification with us. So hopefully that will clear up that mystery that's out and about. Now, we are the only education source focused entirely on the cruise industry. And here are some of the things that we offer for you. One of the things we offer every year, except for in 2020 because of COVID, we have an annual conference called Cruise 360. Every three years, it's in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And in the past, every fourth year, we would house it in Vancouver, British Columbia. So Cruise 360 is one of the largest cruise conferences in the industry, and it gives you a great opportunity to network, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. We have a very robust online course library, or sometimes you see it referred to as a catalog. We have 80 different CLIA courses, 10 credit courses, certificate programs, live seminar quizzes, within that library, as well as 16 virtual ship inspection offerings and other training opportunities that you can partake in. So your online course library, which you will find in your travel agent section, and you'll find it under online learning, is really your one-stop shopping to purchase and register for all the different professional development offerings that we have. We also offer live and virtual training events. We just had a live training event in Atlanta in August, and next month in October, we'll talk about it later, we will have a virtual training event in the middle of October. We also have cruise line webinar seminars. In fact, I believe we had one earlier today with Carnival. So our cruise line members put together free webinars and we host that and we have question and answers and you get to learn about a lot of the different cruise lines that maybe you haven't had the opportunity to sail on or learn about through their own programs. Next slide, please. Now, let's talk about membership. We're still talking about membership. 
when you pay your money to be an individual agent member. Now, a lot of people do not take advantage of all these things on this slide. So hopefully, if nothing else, by the end of today, you will know what great benefits you have by being a member of CLIA. So the first thing is your Embark ID. Again, that's your credential to use with the cruise lines, to make bookings, to get discounts with the partners we have at the hotels, et cetera. So that is your credential and you will receive a card each year with an updated information. Now, you'd be surprised how many people do not take advantage of this next item, and that is, did you know you get four free online CLIA courses per year? That's money sitting on the table for you. So you can take advantage of this, and you can use those courses towards your certification, which we'll get into later. But remember, for 2022, if, you're, if you are an active travel agent member with CLIA, you have the opportunity to take four free classes. The price for these classes for the 10 credit courses is normally $29 for members or $59 for non-members. So again, you could be paying for your agent membership by just taking advantage of taking the free classes. So please be sure to do that. We also offer, like we just said, um, our exclusive cruise line webinars, those are free. And again, that will give you information regarding your cruise companies. Now, here's another one that people aren't aware of. Now, typically, depending on your business model with your agency, you make a booking with a cruise line and you start pretty much at 10%, unless the cruise line has a higher level of commission that you can start with when you make bookings. We also have a program called Bonus Commissions that you can go into your profile when you go into MyClia and you can look for bonus commissions. And we have a list of different cruise company members of CLIA that offer additional bonus commissions that you can earn well over $3,000 a year. Again, there's money on the table just waiting for you to take advantage of. We also have personal travel discounts with various companies within the industry. And then one of our newer programs is called the Affinity Program. And this is where we have partnerships with different corporate companies like General Electric, UPS, um, Office Depot, Constant Change. And you can get discounts and shipping discounts, maybe get some discounts on some, um, I'm trying to think General Electric appliances. Thank you, Heidi. <laughs> I'm trying to think through this. Um, so again, all these things on your membership that you get are really worth your money and your time and the rate of return on the costs that you pay for your membership. Next slide, please. So now we're gonna get into the whole reason we're having this seminar today and we're gonna get into more depth into our certification programs. Next slide, please. All right. So this lists our different levels of CLIA certification. And I'm gonna briefly talk about this and then we'll get into more details as we go along. <clears throat> we have two entry level choices. You can either start with Certified Cruise Counselor or we call it CCC for short, or ACC, Accredited Cruise Counselor. Now the way I always describe this to agents if they're new is our certification programs are kind of like different levels of education that you would get in upper level um, associate degree or bachelor degree or master or PhD. So Certified Cruise Counselor was created um, a number of years ago for brand new agents to the industry that aren't selling necessarily very many cruises yet. They're just getting their feet wet. Maybe you're part-time in the industry and you still have a full-time job. Um, so that's a, a, a start starting place where the emphasis is more on education and not the product knowledge. ACC is kind of like the bachelor degree version, and that's another place you can start. If you've been in the business for a little bit longer and you're actively selling, then maybe you start with um, ACC. Then once you get to ACC, then the following levels, except for travel agent executive, which is standalone, but master and elite cruise counselor, you have to complete ACC before you can enter into master cruise counselor. You have to get that completed and granted, then you can move on to elite. 
And so it's kind of, again, like college, you get your bachelor's degree, then you move on to your master's degree, then you move on to your PhD. Each level of certification will have different requirements, but they all, and we'll see on the slide later, they all have some commonalities um, within the requirements of, of what's expected. Now, travel agent executive is standalone. You do not have to complete any of the other certification levels to enroll in travel agent executive. We created this a number of years ago and it's been tweaked over the years, but basically it's for those executives in retail agencies that do not actively sell. So it could be an owner that lets her staff or his staff do all the selling. Maybe you're a husband and wife team and one of you deals with the sales and the relationship building and the other deals with web design or marketing or financials. So again, it's executives or people within an agency that do not actively sell cruises, but they also want to be recognized by CLIA and earn certification. Now, the other thing I want to tell you about this, so CCC, the enrollment fee is $69. All the other levels, the enrollment fee is $99. <clears throat> and once you pay the $69 or $99, what we will do is we will upload into your profile under my certification section, an electronic logbook and a PDF manual, which Justin is gonna talk about in a few minutes. However, the enrollment fee basically gets you your logbook and assistance if you need it in completing your logbook and asking questions about certification. There may be, and there will be actually, out of pocket expenses that you may have to spend in order to fulfill your requirements. So in other words, if you look at all of these levels on this page, basically they all require at least one or more personal cruises. Sometimes you get lucky and you get a free cruise, but you still have to pay the port charges. Um, so regardless of the payment, you still will have to pay some out-of-pocket money to go on a cruise in order for you to get certified. Same thing with the courses. You may have to pay a small fee for some additional courses above and beyond your four free CLIA classes. So just know that there may be some additional payments that you may have to make in order to complete your certification. Next slide, please. All right, and many of you have seen this before, but this is a little chart that's giving you kind of ideas of who in the industry would be best suited for the different levels. For CCC, we call career explorers, people that are new to the industry, working part-time, and did you know, I bet a lot of you don't know this, and I manage this program, we have a program called ULP, University Licensing Program. And I work with colleges and universities all over North America, and we have had over 1,500 um, students complete the CCC course portfolio in order to add to their curriculum for their tourism or hospitality programs that they're getting at their college. So I work directly with the colleges and the students and they learn about CLIA by taking our CCC courses. So those are the people that would be the best suited for CCC. New travel agents, again, maybe you're new to travel, you're working full time and you are having some friends and family that you book or some clients that you've already um, gathered up or maybe you're booking groups. You can start with CCC or you can start with ACC, either one, there's no right or wrong answer there. And then you move on to MCC and ECC as you would um, in the progression. Career and expert travel agents or professionals, again, those are ones that have been in the business for a longer period of time. Maybe they've been involved with selling, but they've never got involved with CLIA's programs. So sometimes, I mean, I've talked to agents that have been members of CLIA for 20 years, but never took advantage of taking any of our courses, any of our training, and never really got around to taking certification. So it doesn't matter whether you're brand new to the industry or have been in the industry for a while. There is a level of certification that you can 
um, get started with and move through the path. And then finally, executive professionals stand alone, again, like I said, people that aren't actively selling, that do want to get certification with CLIA, but they uh, do not have the sales that you would need from all the other levels. Okay, next slide, please. All right, so we're going to talk about certification in a little bit more depth here. So next slide, please. Eric, I keep seeing Eric. Justin? <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to turn this over to Justin now, and he's going to talk about some of the requirements and logbooks and things with CLIA. Take it away, Justin. All right. <clears throat> so while these specific requirements for completing certification may vary by year, there are some sections that are the same across all of the certifications. Um, one of them is mandatory training. All certifications will require that you take the specific amount of CLIA courses to fulfill this section of training. Then there's elective training. Uh, this training is a combination of CLIA courses, CLIA training events, and cruise line courses, also known as industry partner training, which we'll discuss when we get to the resources section a little bit later. Then there's the personal cruise experience requirement. All certification levels will require you to take a cruise on a member cruise line as part of your developing your knowledge. This will enable you to better experience what your clients will experience when they're on the cruise. Then there's stateroom sales. This requirement is for CCC, ACC, MCC, and ECC certification enrollees. There will be a certain number of staterooms you'll be required to sell during your enrollment period. Remember these clients do not have to cruise though as cancellations and other situations occur, but they do have to be fully booked or within final payment to count. And again, your PDF logbook, which I'll, uh, I'll explain in a little bit, will provide you specific information regarding this requirement. And last but not least is the product knowledge requirement. This is another requirement specific to the CCC, ACC, MCC, and ECC programs. And this is basically ship inspections. You will be required to complete a specific number of physical or virtual ship inspections. And as a CLIA member benefit, we do offer virtual ship inspections on our site for a discounted price, as Heidi mentioned. So when you enroll in certification, you'll be able to download a PDF logbook that provides you specific details on the requirements to achieve certification. We strongly encourage you to download this logbook and to review it carefully. This will basically be your detailed guide to fulfill the requirements in a way that your online logbook cannot be. To show you an example of this, here is my CLIA account. And this is my, my certifications page. And to get here, once you are logged into our website, you'll go to the top right and there should be a drop down. And it's simply right here, my certifications. So when you're enrolled in a certification, your logbook PDF will be located at the top right. And once you click on that, you'll get a downloaded uh, PDF for whichever certification which you are enrolled in. So while we're here, I wanna walk you through our electronic logbook and how it kind of works. So as I mentioned, there are mandatory credits for each certification program, and you can simply check or uncheck the ones that you would like to use for these sections. The same goes for elective credits. You will simply check or uncheck, and it should have a credit requirement on the right. And for CCC, there are the required courses, so those will automatically populate. Then getting into ship inspections, you are required five ship inspections for the ACC. So right now it only shows four of my five submitted, but it looks like I have five. The reason of this is I have not added a supporting document. Once I add a supporting document, choose a file from my desktop and save it. It should auto-populate as five out of five submitted. 
Same goes with your stateroom sales. When you add a stateroom sale, when you add a stateroom sale, you'll put a company name in. You will put, I'm gonna put 12 rooms, say I sold a group of 12 and I booked it today. And I'll put in a placeholder for my reservation number. You will have to attest that you sold the reported amount of staterooms. This is how our system will recognize what to put in here. So I said I sold 12. So it should say 12 out of 12 submitted. But as you can see, it looks like I have all of my requirements completed, but the submit button is still not available. That's because I did not add any supporting documents for my stateroom sales. Here is where you can submit a supporting document. This, uh, most, the most commonly used supporting document is a booking confirmation, um, but you can use any, any sort of documentational proof, which shows that you did in fact make the booking. So once you add in a supporting document for each of your stateroom sales, the submit button will become available for you. And the last section I did not speak on, the personal cruise experiences, uh, it, it will basically work the same as the ship inspections. You will need to add a supporting document once you put in the manual information. And I apologize, there's one more section that I did not speak on is a letter of verification. This is simply a letter from your host agency stating that you're an agent in good standing with them. All right. Uh, and another thing for our ship inspections, if you do take a virtual ship inspection uh, provided by CLIA, you will put in, for example, I did a Holland virtual ship inspection and I added in my certificate here. To find your certificate or your supporting document for CLIA provided virtual ship inspection, you'll go to the My Training section of your account. And you'll simply click this pass link on the right. That link will take you to your certificate. And you can just download that and add it in as your document. So the enrollment period for each certification is basically the same except for the CCC. You must complete all the requirements within 18 months of the date you enroll for the CCC, so you have a year and a half. And for all other certifications, you have up to two years from the date you enroll to complete the certification requirements. Thank you very much, Justin. That was really nice information. And I think that was really useful for people to see how to actually load in the data and the supporting documents in your electronic logbook. All right, so let's talk about advantages. So what's, what are the WIFMs? What's in it for me, right? You gotta have something to go for. So think about the way we have created our certification levels. It, it's really created to immerse you into the cruise industry, providing you experiences by making bookings with the cruise line, whether it's calling the call center, doing it through a GDS global distribution system, going online and working on their online program. You learn how to make bookings and know how to get around the, the process. You also are gonna learn about product knowledge. So by taking cruises, by going on either live or viewing virtual ship inspections. That will give you the opportunity to see the differences even between one cruise line. Ships can be very different depending on the age and um, duration of the itinerary and the number of people on board. All those things make a big difference. And when you look for your personal cruise experiences, we ask you to use different cruise line members and we also ask you to do different itineraries. And the reason we do that is because each one of them will offer different experiences. We have lots of courses, as I mentioned, 80 quizzes and courses in our course library. And we teach many very generic to the cruise industry business classes. So we have many classes on marketing, on sales, on public relations. We have certificate programs that are more in depth. 
um, more niche type of courses with four modules that you can learn more details about a particular subject on. So when you combine all of that, that really gives you increased industry and business knowledge. With that, it gives you credibility with your clients. There are a lot of people that come into our industry from different careers, completely different careers from travel. Many of you can attest to that. And so when you come into travel, we have our own jargon. We have all this information that you have to learn. Even getting used to our Clio website can be challenging at times because there's so much information and so much, so much to adapt to. But when you are able to experience the product and learn about the different cruise lines and the different industry partners and learn about sales if you've never sold anything before, that really gives you credibility with your clients. More sales equals return on investment, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then think about it by having all that experience of going on cruises, of making bookings, of maybe getting into group business, you are going to be increasing your confidence in selling cruises because cruises the cruise experience is very intangible and if you've never been on a cruise ship before it is a little bit harder to sell that experience if you've not been there done that so as you increase your confidence that is going to increase your success in selling cruises and that's win-win for everybody next slide please So I'm actually a, a real life um, seasoned employee of CLIA. I've been with CLIA 17 years. And this statistic has been around for a number of years. We have taken various surveys with our travel professionals that have completed certification with CLIA over the years. And what we have found is, especially when you go through all the different levels of certification, you can close up to 261% more sales. Because think about it, you have that experience of cruising, of seeing different ships, of going to conferences, taking training, taking webinars, learning everything you can about the industry and experiencing it yourself makes it so much easier to be successful because you know what you're talking about. So think about, your success rate with selling based on your experiences. Next slide, please. So let's talk about some resources and we have briefly talked about some of them before, but let's get into this a little bit in more depth. Next slide, please. So basically, when you sign in to cruising.org, which is our official website, you're typically going to spend the majority of your time in what I call, or what's called, our travel agent center and professional development. So up at the top of the screen, when you sign in, you're going to click on travel agent center, and then it'll bring a drop down menu down and you can click on professional development. And then there'll be a number of headings within professional development that you can go into. So you can go into certification, you can go into virtual ship inspections, you can go into our online library, any number of different items, online learning, virtual training events, et cetera. So that's where you're gonna spend the majority of the time. Now, we talked about your four free classes that are including in your agent membership. Again, make sure you take advantage of that. You're leaving money on the table if you don't. And the courses can be used towards certification. And once you've completed your four free, you will get a discounted member rate for your online courses at $29. Industry partner training. Now, this is something I'm deeply involved in with CLIA. And one of my jobs at CLIA is I review all of our member cruise line online academies. And I take them all just like you do, and then I assign CLIA credits to them based on their robustness and length and a number of different factors for their program. So we have a link, um, a page in our professional development section under certifications called industry partner page. And we actually have 35 
different companies, including cruise line members, hotel chains, DMOs, uh, destination properties and transportation companies, and one technical company that offer CLIA credits for completing their programs. So when you go into that particular page, you can page through and look at all the different cruise lines, all the different other companies. You click on one and it will give you how many credits you will earn and it will actually give you a link to their training program or to a landing page that will get you to their training program. So the industry partner training, again, typically are for electives for your different levels of certification. And I always recommend that agents, especially new agents, take advantage of all of these industry partner trainings are free. You don't have to pay a thing. Some cruise lines will offer free cruises as reward once you've completed their program and sell X number of staterooms. So <clears throat> there are some advantages, not only to learn about the specific cruise lines very specifically, because we are generic, we're like Switzerland, we, we don't mention brands or anything in our training because we represent 53 cruise lines, so we, we can't do that. But the cruise line and other industry partner programs allow you to dive deep into their information and help you learn about it, even though you may not necessarily get a chance to cruise on every single cruise line, you can learn a lot from their programs. Next slide, please. Virtual ship inspections. Now, there are a number of different ways that you can participate in ship inspections. One of them is virtual. <clears throat> and so in professional development, we have 16 virtual ship inspections that you can watch. There's a small fee of $12 for members. And we have, out of those 16 virtual ship inspections, we offer contemporary, premium, river, and luxury brands. So there's a little bit of everything. And Justin did show you the certificate of completion that you will get when you complete the virtual ship inspections on our site that you can use for proof. Now, if you attend our virtual training events and often our live training events, we may also offer virtual or live training events. When you go to Cruise 360, in the past couple of years, obviously because of COVID, we had virtual ship inspections. For April of next year, when we have our event in Fort Lauderdale, we are keeping our fingers crossed. Haven't finalized everything yet, but hopefully we will have live ship inspections again. So you can contact cruise lines for live ship inspections on your own. If you attend a conference such as Cruise 360 or Cruise World, they will often include ship inspections. And then if you attend our training events, we often will include those ship inspections also. So you can use those towards your requirements with your certification levels. Live and virtual training events, I'll get into a little bit more detail on the event that's happening up in October. And then Cruise 360, again, April 18th to the 23rd, next spring at the Broward County Convention Center in Fort Lauderdale. We have been open for registration for quite some time. Um, be sure to register as pricing does change from time to time. But the great thing is when you attend Cruise 360, if you, and you can attend any number of days, typically it's about a, maybe about six days in length, but if you can't stay the whole time, you can pick whichever days are the most important to you. But regardless, once you attend Cruise 360, pick up a badge, you will earn 40 credits for attending Cruise 360 that you can use towards certification levels. So that's really important. So what I always tell people is when you go to Cruise 360, save your badge that we give you that you're wearing all the time, and that will be proof that you are actually at Cruise 360. Now, another fun thing that we do, and I'm sure you've talked to me, and I'm sure you've talked to Justin and our membership team, but we offer 15-minute career counseling appointments, and they will either be via video or phone, and basically you pick a subject that you want to talk about, typically professional development or membership, certification, what your path should be to move through certification, anything really having to do with CLIA, with membership and, and 
um, professional development, we can talk to you about that. And I have made a lot of really long-term friendships with agents, some of you may be on this call, that I've talked to over the years as you've moved through all the different stages in your path with professional development. So it's really kind of fun to get to know people and spend time helping you become successful in knowing how to get around our website, knowing which certification is the best for you, and knowing what training is available. So we really encourage that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very br brutally honest with you guys. I usually go over my 15 minutes because I like to give as much information as I can based on what you're looking for. So again, if my schedule permits it, I sometimes do run over. But anyway, take advantage of all these different resources that will help you with getting your requirements fulfilled, but also helping you get to know CLIA and the personnel at CLIA. Next slide, please. All right. So our key takeaways today, we talked about certification is for everyone. So whether you're brand new to the industry or you've been in the industry 20 years, we have certifications that will fit your needs. And again, please feel free to reach out to us because we can help you make that decision. So again, we have certification levels for everyone. And again, as I said in the beginning, it's not mandatory, but because you can close more sales and you get that experience within the industry, we really highly recommend it for your path in professional development. As we talked about, we have lots of really great member benefits that help you achieve certification as well as put money in your pocket whether it's bonus commissions or the affinity program or the travel discounts that we offer or the virtual ship inspections training all those things really benefit you and really make your membership fee go a long way in rate of return and then just again to remind you, when you join in as an agent member with CLIA, you pay your annual dues for your agent membership. Once you're an agent member, and remember, you have to be an active agent member in order to enroll or keep your status with CLIA for your certification. So the first step is getting that enrollment for your agent membership and then enrolling in whichever certification fits your path the best. And again, please rely on our staff to answer those questions. And hopefully this presentation has answered a lot of your questions. So hopefully that was our goal. Okay, next slide, please. All right, so the virtual training event is gonna be October 17th through the 21st. I'm gonna be teaching our updated accessible cruise travel certificate. And we will have two, travel um, uh, member cruise line sponsors on that one. So October 17th to the 21st, accessible cruise travel, you will earn 30 credits for attending the event all week for just showing up, and then you'll earn 50 credits for the accessible cruise travel certificate. Again, we have Cruise 360 in April, April 18th to the 23rd down in Fort Lauderdale at the Broward County Convention Center. We have our site open. People have been registering for quite some time. We will continue to add different components to Cruise 360 as they are available. So we will be uploading the seminars that we, we will be teaching on Wednesday. We will upload the workshops and destination pro product that workshops that will take place. We will also upload the cruise line showcases that will take place, as well as all the different other functions that you would sign up for. And again, all this is included in your price for Cruise 360. And then also probably later in the time frame, we will upload the ship inspection information and the fan trip information that typically happen on the weekend um, as availability of ships and the fan trips that are, are loaded. Okay, next slide, please. All right, so I've pretty much covered all the meat and potatoes of certification. Now, just in case, there is another recorded certification presentation I did 
I can't remember what it was now, a number of months ago. So that is also available. That gets a little bit more into details about what the different requirements are for all the different levels, but that is available for you for free. This has been recorded, so this will be available for um, watching later on. And so if you know people that missed this, you can let them know that this will be available on our, um, what's the doodle, Facebook. So, Justin, what kind of questions can we answer for these lovely folks? So we've gotten a few questions about how to enroll in the certifications and where they can find the enroll options on the site. So okay. I'm just gonna quickly show them. Excellent. So once you're logged into your account, you'll be at your MyClia page. All right. So this is your this is your dashboard. And under Travel Agent Center, we have our professional development section, which you'll click on. And that's where you can find anything relating to our professional development team um, and any of the assets that Heidi has talked about. Basically everything we've talked about today um, will be located under this professional development tab. There will then be this banner right here where you can access certification programs, and there's a drop down with all of our certification programs and their specifics. So for example, if you wanted to sign up for the CCC, I've opened that in a new tab. And it does list all of the requirements. So if you wanted to just take a look at the requirements and see if this certification is right for you, it shows how many stateroom bookings you would need. And it's the same for the other certifications as well. It will show a different number of stateroom bookings and all of the different requirements for that program. But to enroll, you'll click the Enroll Now button. And this will take you to our product catalog page for our CCC application, which you will then be able to add to your cart. So once it's in your cart, there will be an add to cart button here. Once it's in your cart, it will say proceed to check out. And then it will show up in your shopping cart. And you will simply proceed to check out, put in your cart information, and you'll be able to check out with it that way. Um, other, another question that we had um, is if you've already begun taking courses uh, before enrolling in certifications, will those be able to apply? And the answer is, of course, your trainings do not expire that you have done. Uh, so any training that you do prior to enrolling can be applied. That also applies to Cruise Line Academies, as long as the Cruise Line is still part of CLIA. And also, there are certain requirements within the product knowledge and experiences that you can use prior to enrolling. So for instance, for any level of certification, if you have sold state rooms within one year of your enrollment date of any of the levels that require state rooms, you can count those. If you <clears throat> have gone on any personal cruises, sorry, <clears throat> my voice is getting raw here. Yep, if you've, if you've gone on any personal cruises, you may include cruises up to two years prior to your enrollment date. And for ship inspections, you may use ship inspections from up to three years prior to enrollment date. And that's above and beyond the 18 months or two year enrollment period. So we give you some flexibility. We've, we've increased the inflexibility because of COVID situation. Now, what we do next year in 2023 might be different because we do make occasional tweaks to our certification programs each year. But for now, you would be able to use those particular guidelines. All right, next question is, how do you sign up for a career counseling quest or career counseling appointment? Excuse me. So right here on our professional development page, there is this career counseling uh, drop down and you may click book your session. 
It will then take you to our outsource uh, platform, which is Setmore. And you can simply choose the service that you would like. And then you may choose your CLIA staff, myself, Heidi, or others. And you will then just book it for a time that works for you. Uh, and we do this from nine to five, Monday through Thursday. And I actually do them on Friday. <laughs> Heidi goes above and beyond. All right. Uh, another question we got is, are you able to enroll in two certification programs at the same time? And the answer is no. Um, you must do one at a time. Um, However, I, I did get a question earlier that said, if I signed up for the CCC and think I am capable of going for the ACC instead, may I upgrade? And we do take these by on a case by case basis. So, you know, if you if you do want to, because there is a difference in cost, there's a thirty dollar difference between those two. So, if you would like to upgrade to the ACC, uh, I would recommend contacting us at training at cruising org and I'll be able to help you there. Sometimes what happens is people sign up for CCC and then all of a sudden they get a group booking or something and they think, oh, okay, maybe I right. can do CCC because you know, as you move up through the different certification levels, your requirements are gonna increase. And so maybe it changes from the time that you sign up to the time that you decide you wanna upgrade. So. Um, we do suggest that you do that fairly quickly once you've enrolled. Um, you know, if you've been enrolled for, you know, a year and a half, probably isn't the best way to go. But if it's something that you change your mind with fairly quickly, we can we can look at that. Right. All right. So another question uh, we had is where can I find the complimentary courses that I am entitled to? So. This is our online learning section. I just clicked this banner right here and this brought me here. So to view our whole course catalog, you would click here. But to view the ones that you are able to use, you will click this drop down, and it simply has all of the courses which you are entitled to with your individual agent membership. Now, Justin and I are expecting a whole big group of you, hopefully, to take advantage of taking those free classes if you haven't done it already. And I'm just looking for a couple more questions that I may be able to clarify. Uh, do I have to retake the CCC yearly or does it remain active? And that's a great question. Uh, you do not have to retake any certification yearly. Um, your certification will remain active as long as you remain an individual agent member with CLIA and your agent membership stays active. Now, I'm going to give you a caveat on that. That may change in the future, but at this point and next year in 2023, the only requirement is that you're an active agent member. You know, some companies require you to do certain things to keep their status, and we have not gone that route, at least to this point. And this webinar can be reviewed again. Um, this is being recorded and it will be uploaded onto our site and I assume our YouTube channel, which is Clear Global. Oh, I was wrong. I said Facebook, I meant YouTube. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> I'm sure we'll put it on Facebook as well. <laughs> um, and if you have any additional questions or uh, one-off questions, uh, feel free to email us, get your pens out at training at cruising.org. That's training. T R A I N I N G at cruising.org. And myself or Heidi will be happy to help you out. And the and YouTube channel is CLIA Space Global. Go ahead, Heidi. Sorry. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I was just going to say on behalf of CLIA's professional development team, um, Justin and I, we thank you so much for taking the time out with us to learn more about certification. And I hope truly that we answered a lot of your questions that you had. And so this will give you a clear path on which way to go. And again, don't forget, we have that other certification um, presentation that's already up on the YouTube already. So feel free to utilize all of the resources that you have at your disposal. And I thank you all for your loyalty and being part of CLIA. Justin, do you have anything you'd like to add? I don't. I just typed in the, uh, the email, which you can access us at, and we'll be happy to help you further if you do need additional assistance. And we, we do hope that this information was helpful. Thanks, everybody. Have a really great rest of your day. Stay healthy and safe and safe travels. Thanks, Thank everyone. you.